is my not so unusual breakfast. Scrambled eggs with bacon, some chaffles, the uh, white bread pecan flour chaffles, and sugar for the sugar free blackberry jam and then just black coffee this morning. So that's breakfast. And coffee for today. It is the Cameron's chocolate caramel brownie. And I've got half a scoop of the keto collagen in there. And I don't know the measurement. I just eyeballed it. The uh, salted caramel keto syrup with MCT oil. Okay, here is my dinner. Please don't mind the noise. That's the uh, CPAP cleaner. It sounds like a didgeridoo, which I hate that sound. <laughs> but anyway, here's dinner. So pork rind, pepperoni, cheese, salsa, and a fizzy water. And for lunch, I had uh, a pork chop cut up into uh, some sauerkraut. Even though I'm not a spring and summer kind of person, I do like to see the neighbor's uh, tree across the street at the beginning of uh, spring. Very pretty. All of the peanuts, carrots, and apple pieces that get dropped in Rocky's birdcage, uh, my dad throws out in the yard for the squirrels, and I like to watch them dig for those things, and the birds. Hey there, time to close this day out. Uh, I am done making masks. I'm tired of making masks. Uh, I haven't even made that many masks, but <laughs> I'm tired of trying to make the perfect fit. So I made two unsuccessful masks. These two. Way too big. Way, way too big. Even though I followed the pattern. Two almost successful masks. these two. This one, uh, it fits, but I forgot to put little straps in it to put a liner in it, but it fits me. Mostly. Okay. This one was almost successful and it still can be because I really haven't tied it off yet uh, but I would need to undo it and I don't want to do that tonight I'm tired of doing this so let's see I'm gonna figure out which ones which parts the bottom okay so this is almost successful it can be it will be I guess and then I made two successfully. This is one. And I just have a coffee filter in there. And it's crinkly because it's a paper coffee filter. <laughs> It works. I don't go out anyway, so I don't know when I'll get much use out of them, but I have them. And the other successful one. I did not put a filter in this, but I can because I put a little little straps in there to put a filter in and they were all made with uh, cotton yarn and the green one I have the label here for it is uh, from uh, Hobby Lobby and it's in the color of lime um, I think the label to this one is upstairs and then the white one is just the uh, Lily's sugar and cream. So that's it for that. Uh, I had a pretty bad headache this morning, uh, but I finally got rid of it. I took a hot shower 
Uh, I even used some uh, CBD oil. That didn't really help. All I did was make my skin oily. It's uh, actually a CBD pain cream that I used. And it's almost gone. And then uh, the shower pretty much helped. And then I also did like a dab of uh, peppermint oil on my neck. Just a second. So I just did a dab of, of that. Sometimes just sniffing it will help too. Um, I also use for sniffing purposes, which also helps me feel a little bit better, is the uh, tea tree oil. I, I love the smell of this stuff. Absolutely love it. Um, the first time I ever smelled it though, I was like, oh, that's some nasty stuff. I almost ralphed on it because the smell was just horrible. And then the more I got to smell in it, the more it became familiar to me. And I couldn't figure out for the longest time why it was such a familiar smell. And then I remembered um, my mom's dad was a chiropractor. And I remember going into, he had an office in, in their house. And it just hit me one day, that's the smell. I smell that from Granny's house because that's what his office smelled like. And, and my sister said, yeah, that's the stuff he, he used it for liniment. And I'm like, okay, now I, now I understand. And then all of a sudden it became a familiar, you know, a good familiar smell. And then I couldn't get enough of the smell. So I bought a bottle of it just to sniff. And every once in a while I use it, but I mainly just have it on hand just to, just to sniff. <laughs> My sister also makes soap with this stuff, and oh my gosh, oh. And I also have uh, some eucalyptus oil too. Mm. I've had these things for years, and that, that's really all I use them for is for sniffing. <laughs> Except for like when I have a headache, you know, I'll use a dab of this on my neck or, you know, close to wherever my headache is. And that really helps a lot. I also drank uh, two cups of uh, herbal peppermint tea. That helps. So, I mean, the headache finally went away. And I also did, uh, I also took some headache powder. Headache powder always works the quickest, but I was trying to get by without it. That didn't happen, so... <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go, and th since this is Friday, I won't be doing any recording tomorrow or Sunday. So, uh, I'll take this time to say Happy Easter to everyone. And I'm going to take my vitamins and supplements now, uh, put away this crocheting, and start getting back to my regular projects that I was working on. And... I will see everybody Monday for Meaty Monday, and have a great weekend. Stay safe. Please stay home, everybody, if you can, and uh, if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Good night.